42 win at Cal State Hayward last Saturday over rival Miramani to capture their first section championship, North Coast section championship, since the 1996 season, a year in which Northgate went all the way and won, and won the state championship of the state of California. Tonight's officials, the referee is Jimmy Gibbons, the umpire is Tim Benson, and Brett Silvera. Again, the starting five consists of Jason Hill, Connor Kelly, Odeo O'Day, Joe Nevin, and Jerry Ryan for Sacred Heart, while the Broncos of Northgate will counter with London Young, Dylan Edrington, Rashawn Poirier, Mike Villius, and Tynan Davis. The Irish, the Central Coast section, runners up. And the tip now will go to, off of Northgate, it'll belong to the Irish. And the Broncos are North Coast section champions by virtue of their win over Miramani on Saturday. The Irish in the green, the Broncos in their home whites. And already... The officials will go to mid-court to talk about the official clock, which is now at 7.46. It should be about 7.58. There's no way 14 seconds ran off the clock between the ball, the time the ball was tipped out of bounds. And indeed, it'll go to 7.58, left in the opening period. Sacred Heart 20 and 11, Northgate 25 and 4, the number three seed in the North Co in Northern California playoffs here. Jerry Ryan with the ball. Nice ball movement early on by the Irish. Northgate comes out in their intense man-to-man -man defense known for their good D. And here's a steal. London Young has the ball batted out of bounds. Last touch by O'Day. <laughs> Northgate will get their first possession and a new shot clock. 7.36 opening quarter. Broncos will inbound from baseline left. London Young will do the honors. Lob pass to poor year. Could not come up with it. A steal by O'Day. And here come the Fighter and Irish in transition. Outside shot on the way. And good. Connor Kelly with the first basket of tonight's contest. And it's a three-pointer. Bronco is quickly in transition. A good defense again by the Sacred Heart Cathedral Fighting Irish of San Francisco on the run. Another three-pointer is up off the back iron. Missed by Nevin. Broncos come out on the run. And here's our star player, player Dylan Edrington. Northgate will slow it down now. Davis to Edrington. Steps inside. Tries to create a shot. And he does from the right elbow. And it's 3-2. 6.50 left to go in the first quarter. Nevin with the ball. Watched by Davis, the number one defender on the Bronco team. Ball nearly lost out of bounds by the Irish. It's recovered. Nice bounce pass between the circles. And a violation is whistled against a fighting Irish. It'll be Northgate ball. A little token pressure now. The Broncos no problem breaking it. That's Tynan Davis with the ball. Trying to create off the dribble. Dribble penetration. Kicks it out. Mike Villius misses badly. Broncos get it though. Davis shot it a little too soon. But again, the Broncos get a break as they get the ball back. 15 on the shot clock. Edrington in heavy traffic. No foul call. Sacred Heart now with the ball again. Connor Kelly. Who threw that three-pointer earlier. Will slow it down. And Odio Odai, the point guard. Flips it left side to Jason Hill. Hill to Ryan. Cross court now to Nevin. 13 on the shot clock. Here's a steal by Davis. And look out. He can slam it. Goes up. Draws a foul. He won to send it in. But there's no way Odai was going to let him do it. Especially at home, the fans would have erupted as they did. The Broncos are in their last home game. Just like that play, Tynan Davis got it and went up for the big slam dunk, and the fans erupted. O'Dai with a foul. That is his first first team foul. And Davis the free throw line for a couple shots here. First one is up and through. Tynan Davis, last time out against Miramani. Had a very nice game as they limited the Matadors to just 42 points. Second free throw off the back iron. Davis had eight points offensively but played super defense. One out of two on that sequence for the Broncos. We are knotted up at three apiece. 
5.40 left to go in the first quarter from Northgate the Northern California playoffs. San Francisco against Walnut Creek here. Miss shot comes out to Odai. He flips it top of the circle of Kelly. A long three miss by Jason Hill and a foul underneath will be whistled against the Fighting Irish. Jerry Ryan the culprit that time. Second team foul. Another full court pressure situation but again they'll lay off once the Broncos inbound the ball. London Young bounce pass to Poirier down low Davis out high Edrington free throw line jumper in and out went halfway in and came out but Davis hustles to the basketball new shot clock Poirier out to Dylan Edrington three pointer on the way and no good tipped up kept alive by the Broncos Villas touched it last before it went out of bounds according to Jimmy Givens our referee A tough defensive struggle early on in the early early phases of this basketball game. 3-3, three, three, three and a half minutes into this ball game. Coming off the pick, looking for the jumper is Joe Nevin, and he was fouled by a Bronco. Looks to be Tynan Davis, who will pick up the foul, his first. First team foul for the Broncos. Connor Kelly will inbound from near midcourt. It's Joe Nevin with the ball, watched by Davis. A near steal again by the Broncos. They like to go for their steals. They put the pressure on you defensively. A three-pointer missed by Sacred Heart. London Young the rebound. He'll flip it over to Tynan Davis, who will drop the ball up. Here comes a steal in the backcourt. Going in for the layup, and the big slam, Jason Hill. Sized himself up and went up for the big dunk. 5-3. Broncos getting a little taste of their own medicine on defense here. Now they have the ball on offense. Stein and Davis in the corner. Poor year, jumper up, jumper no good. Northgate just barely missing shots in the early stages here. In and out more than a few times. And a foul underneath again whistled against Sacred Heart. Jerry Ryan picks up the foul. That is his second. 13 foul. Nice ball movement early on by the Broncos. Edrington has it stripped. Puts up a wild shot and he gets it to go off the glass. Dylan Edrington. Four points for him. Coming off a 26-point effort on Saturday night against Miramani in the North Coast section finals. Davis loses it. Nice spin move to the basket by Jason Hill. He's got four points on a slam dunk and a 360 layup. 7-5, Sacred Heart by two. Over and back violation. The Broncos just a bit rattled right about now by the Sacred Heart defense. They've been all over Northgate this far. And that's Northgate's game, so they're going to come right back at them defensively. And there's coach Dan Swan now in his fifth season. Done a wonderful job with this Northgate program. Taking over for Frank Alaco, who moved over to Dale Sal. Three-pointer from the corner, missed. The Broncos batted out. Last touch by Northgate. It should be Sacred Heart ball, and it is. Much to the dismay of the fans right there, the Northgate fans. They did not like the call, but it was a correct call. 3.03 left to go first quarter. First substitution. Stefan Gartrell checks in. Sitting down is Jerry Ryan. Also in the game is Bobby Barnes. And Odio Odai will take a seat. There's Coach T John Perez of Sacred Heart of the West Catholic Athletic League, the WCAL. The runners-up in the Central Coast section, Division Three playoffs. Inside three minutes now, 255. Broncos down by two at home. Sacred Heart has looked very impressive thus far. Good defense by Davis. Another near steal. It's going to go in the backcourt. Almost out of bounds. It is out of bounds. And credit Mike Billius with the defense. He tipped the ball away, and by the time Sacred Heart ran it down, it was last touched by them. The Fine Irish with the turnover. Broncos get it for the baseline. 
And that's Edrington. Lob pass in the corner. Make that in the backcourt to London Young. And he is hounded right now by Jason Hall on a turnover against the Broncos. And London Young not too happy with that call. Mike Crutchett checks in. Jason Hill will sit down. Kelly flips it over to Barnes. Already three substitutions for the Irish. The Broncos with none. A running jumper misses badly wide left. Stripped away by Davis. 16 on the shot clock. Now another steal as poor year comes away with it. And London Young will slow things down. And one thing we've seen Sacred Heart do from the get-go is put pressure on the basketball. And that has really affected the Northgate Broncos thus far. Poor year. Lob pass down low. Davis trying to post up the defender. London Young now. Broncos with 15 on the shot clock in the corner to Davis. Looking to create off the dribble. Goes up the pretty layup. And that'll get the Broncos some confidence. His first basket. Three points for him. And we are knotted up. Seven apiece. 145 left to go. Timeout on the floor. Asked for by Sacred Heart. And they get it. It's a 20 second timeout. Sacred Heart entered this game ranked 14th in the Bay Area in the San Francisco Chronicle Top 25 poll with their 20 and 11 record. Northgate, the Broncos, 12th, thanks in part to a 25 and 4 mark, which includes a North Coast Section Championship. Dan Swan, the coach in his fifth season, has done a wonderful job with this program again. After an 18 and 8 season last year, the Broncos, 25 and 4 thus far, and of course their first. North Coast Section Championship since 1996. The year of the Alacos, Frank and Frank Jr. When Northgate went all the way and beat Artesia at the Oakland Coliseum for the state championship. And that was a great day for Northern California basketball. In the backcourt it goes. Bobby Barnes will drop the ball up. 140 on the clock. Nice backdoor cut and it goes out of bounds. Good idea, but the execution just was not there as Karuchek couldn't come up with it. Broncos will get the ball back. Full court pressure is shown. London Young with the ball. And again, once the Broncos do get it, and here comes a double team, they'll usually lay off except for that occasion. Edrington to Young. Broncos set up shop now with 20 on the shot clock. Now they're not sure who they want with the ball. Great defense again. Lob pass down low, way high for poor year. Great ball movement right now by Sacred Heart. Down low, nice entry pass and drawing the foul is big Stefan Gartrell. And he'll go to the free throw line. Foul is whistled against Mike Vilius. That is his first, second team foul for the Broncos. Shooting situation now for the Fighting Irish. Back and forth of fair here in the first quarter with 108 left to go. Short on the first try is Gartrell. He will have one more upcoming here. The Broncos thus far are one out of two from the charity stripe. Another substitution now is back in the game is Odio Odai. The point guard. And Stefan Gartrell with one more free throw upcoming here. Up and through. One out of two. Irish with the lead. 8-7. Full court pressure. The Broncos breaking no problem. Poor year. Nice give and go. Belius misses the basket. It was partially blocked. It was altered. London Young three-point shot. A knuckleball no good. He gets his own shot back. Puts up a wild shot and draws a foul. That's a way to fall your shot if you're Northgate. And it came right back to him. Foul whistled against the Fighting Irish. Bobby Barnes picks it up. It is his first. Fourth team foul. And London Young for the free throw line. First shot up and through. Young will not put up big numbers consistently, but he's very solid. However, in the big win against Marimani, he chipped in with 15, and that's a good night for him. Usually known for distributing the ball and his great defense. Two for two on that occasion, and he's certainly the floor general for these Northgate Broncos. 
the DFAL champions, finished their league 17-1, and one, 16 straight wins. So they went 1-1 one and, one and rolled up 16 straight. Here's Dylan Edrington with a steal. Goes up for the layup, and he is hacked. Mike Karuchet picks up the foul. And Edrington, an excellent free throw shooter, will go to the free throw line. Our last game on the AT&T Broadband Game of the Week, he was a perfect 10 of 10. And against the Maramonte Matador Saturday, he was 12 of 13. And thus far tonight, he's one for one. And he's got five points. So he will go to the free throw line often, and he will make those shots. And any coach will tell you, free throws win ball games. Free throws are very big. And if you miss free throws, they often come back to haunt you. And with this guy, he rarely misses them. Two for two, six points for him, leads all scores. Broncos by three, 11 to eight, 35 seconds left to go. 25 on the shot clock, therefore about a seven or eight second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Good ball movement again, three point shot up, missed by Karuchit. Broncos with the rebound, poor year goes sky high, leaves it for Young. Shot clock is off, the Broncos will hold it for one final shot here. 15 seconds left to go. They'll spread them out with the Broncos. And that's the man you want with the basketball right there. Dylan Edrington. Eight seconds. Young to Edrington. Drives baseline. Puts up a shot with the left hand. Has it blocked out of bounds. Perhaps should have maybe gone up with his right, but went up with his left and showed it to the defense. And they were able to knock it out of bounds with 3.4 seconds left to go. Broncos will still, will still some time here to get a shot off. Four year out high. Young shaking and baking. Puts up a shot. It'll count if it goes. Off the glass and nearly did. We have come to the end of the first quarter with our score, the Northgate Broncos, 11, the Sacred Heart Cathedral, fight an Irish 8, the Northern California playoffs, and we'll be back with the second quarter after this. The broadband game of the week is made possible by a generous donation from Rocco's Restaurante Pizzeria in Walnut Creek. Located in the Encina Grande Shopping Center, Rocco's Restaurante Pizzeria has classic Italian pastas, gourmet pizzas, and a family atmosphere. Locally owned and operated by Rocco Bialy and family, Rocco's is a great place to go after the game. Rocco's Restaurante Pizzeria voted the best pizza in Contra Costa by the readers of the Contra Costa Times. Back at Northgate High School in Walnut Creek, it's Sacred Heart and Northgate going at it, and what an entertaining first quarter that was. The Broncos end it with a three-point lead. Sacred Heart certainly had their moments, though, in that first quarter, forcing turnover after turnover, but the Broncos were able to ease back into their game, the kind of game they like to play, dictate on defense, and make the open shots on offense. And things are starting to come around, but early on, they were a bit flustered by the heavy heat of Sacred Heart. The Irish, the runners up, the Central Coast section, having lost their reared and reared and playing Miramani of Arenda tonight in San Francisco, while Sacred Heart of San Francisco makes it out to the East Bay here in Walnut Creek to take on Northgate. London Young trying to create, nothing doing. Gives it off off the weave to Edrington. And another offensive foul. That's the third and a half called against the Broncos. Wait and see who it's against. Look to be London Young. That is his first. Third team foul. Down by three on the road. The Irish get the ball back. And they're away green. Nice pass down low. A jump hook up and in by Mike Karuchit. And that's his first two. A near steal in the backcourt. The Broncos do a nice job of breaking the half-court pressure. London Young with a double pump. Gets it to go. Four points for him. His first basket. 13-10. Broncos by three. 7-15 left to go until the half. Sacred Heart now running that motion offense. The Broncos playing that intense defense. Young out on the ball guarding Bobby Barnes. Law pass down low. Villiers tips it away. Last touch by. Looks to be the Broncos. Couple shaking up players. Villiers comes away hobbling. He'll be okay. And a foul against the Broncos down low. Rashawn Poirier. That is his first. Sacred Heart Cathedral to inbound from baseline right. Karuchit will do the honors. 
He's watched by Dylan Edrington. Substitution now. Jason Hill checks in. Replacing Bobby Barnes, who takes the seat. So Coach John Perez likes to go 10 or 11 deep into his bench. That way he'll keep his players fresh and they can really play that up-tempo kind of defense. Did they like to? In it goes to Connor Kelly, who already has a three-pointer. Kelly gets it back out high. Leaves it for Karuchit, who will set it up. 25 on the shot clock, 6.45 on the game clock. And it's Kelly with the ball. Good defense, though, as Tim Pataska has checked in the game for Northgate now. Pataska got a hand on the ball as Karuchit was dribbling in the lane. Broncos thought it went off Karuchit's legs. It did not, though. Sacred Heart will get the ball back. Joe Nevin in the game. Connor Kelly sits down. Sacred Heart to inbound. Nevin, three-pointer off the pick. Missed everything, and he'll hear it from the crowd. Kelly makes that young in the front court. Watched by Odia Odai. Little backdoor cut, not open. Poor year. Left side. Broncos move the ball around with 15 on the shot clock. Good defense by Sacred Heart. Young. Dribble penetration. Not much there. Poor year. Seven on the shot clock. Batasca. Three. Young will have to put up a shot. Puts up a wild shot off the back iron. No good. Rebound goes to Odai. Here comes Sacred Heart on the run. They trail by 3, 13 to 10. 5.45 left to go until the half. Both teams just two points. Three and a half minutes in the second quarter here. So certainly it's been a defensive struggle. Long three on the way and off the back iron. Nearly got to go with Joe Nevin. Last touch by Sacred Heart. Northgate gets the ball back. So both teams... Having a tough time putting the ball in the basket, but the defenses have looked good thus far. And that's London Young with the ball. Waves everyone off. As he trots the ball up across the timeline. Now he directs traffic, sets up the play. Poor year, bounce pass, free throw line. Looking down low, not much there. Edrington, long three on the way. No good. Broncos just standing around. Three Broncos underneath and one Irish, and the one Irish gets the ball. That was Joe Nevin. I'm sure Dan Swan's not too happy about that. We approach a five-minute mark. Good defense by Tynan Davis, and he nearly turned, forced a turnover. However, the officials say that Davis last touched the ball. Irish will inbound from midcourt. And it goes to Karuchit. And he'll walk the ball up now. 20 on the shot clock. Bounce pass to Odai. Dribble penetration, Karuchit off the glass, draws a foul. Could not get the shot to go. And let's see who the foul's on. Foul's whistled against Rashawn Poirier. That is his second. And Karuchit to the free throw line. Couple shots upcoming here. First one is up and through. Did not start the game, did Mike Karuchit, but he's played most of the game thus far. Substitution now again. Jerry Ryan, one of the original starters back in, and Stefan Cartrell will sit down. Second shot, no good. 13-11 our score. London Young at McCourt. Leaves it for Dylan Edrington. Back to Young. Good pressure on the basketball. Backdoor cut. Goes to Adrington. Puts up a wild shot. No good. Kept alive. But the Irish come away with it. And a traveling violation. A break for the Broncos. Whistled against the Irish. A turnover for Sacred Heart. Broncos get it back up by 2. 13-11. 4.27 left to go until the half. Northgate with the ball and a new shot clock. London Young to Edrington. Back to Young. Not a whole lot of ball movement right now for the Northgate Broncos. And Sacred Heart looking to double team whenever they can. Davis nearly lost it. Edrington now high. 
trying to create off the dribble. Puts up a shot with the left hand. Can't finish it. Bilius puts it up off the rebound, and he can't get it to go either. Broncos missing early sh easy shots now. And Batasco doing a nice job of getting back on defense and knocking the ball out of bounds. Bobby Barnes checks back in for John Perez's Sacred Heart team. And Mike Karuchit will sit down, and he will get a nice hand from his team and his coach as well. Did a very nice job off the bench for the Fighting Irish. Turn around jumper in the lane. Missed by Sacred Heart. Rebound comes out to Joe Nevin. Here's a three-pointer by Bobby Barnes. Up and through. Second three for the Fighting Irish in this half. And they now have the lead of 14-13. to 13. Broncos have scored just two points. Four and a half minutes into the second quarter. That tells you that Sacred Heart's been playing some outstanding defense, which indeed they have been. Davis, finger roll, no good. Broncos rattled on offense right now. I'm sure they have not seen a team playing this kind of defense all season long. A wild layup missed by Hill. Barnes the rebound, and they'll kick it out to Jerry Ryan, and they'll set up shop again. The new shot clock, and the game clock now shows 3.05 left to go. 14-13, Sacred Heart the, with the lead on the road. They've only scored six points thus far for the Broncos, two in the second quarter. Jerry Ryan gets the easy basket down low. Billius goes up, puts up a shot, and draws a foul. And every time the Broncos go up for a layup, the Fighting Irish, they're going to make the Broncos pay for it. Pay for it. No easy shots down low. And that's been their motto thus far. Billius to the free throw line. Couple shots here. Billius with two points. Last time out against Veramani in the North Coast section finals. First shot is up and through. Rainbowed it in. His first points tonight. We'll have one more coming here. Broncos now down by two at 16 14. And a big free throw up coming here. The Northgate Broncos, ranked number 12. The San Francisco Chronicle, top 25 pull, Sacred Heart at 14. Second shot in and out. The 13th team is California, also from the East Bay. 2.35 left to go, 16-14 our score. Sacred Heart with the ball and the lead. And this is Odia Odai, and he'll be called for a charge. His second personal foul. And Northgate wants a timeout here. And they'll get it 2.29 left to go. While we have a chance, we'd like to thank the Northgate Boosters Club for making this game a reality with their generous donation. We were able to put this game on the air. And without their help, it certainly would have been very tough. So once again, thank you very much to the Northgate Boosters Club. And here are the Northgate Broncos. And tonight's AT&T Broadband Game of the Week is being brought to you by Rocco's Restaurante Pizzeria in Walnut Creek. And earlier tonight, we had the chance to speak with Rocco Bialy. In fact, we'll talk to Rocco in our halftime show. Rocco and his kids. And a wonderful conversation we have for you during our halftime show. Once again, thanks to Rocco's Restaurante Pizzeria in Walnut Creek. The best pizza in the East Bay. Make that the Bay Area. 2.29 left to go. Broncos down by two. They have the ball. Northgate's gone with about six men, maybe seven at the most thus far, while Sacred Heart, they have dug deep in their bench. As many as ten players have seen action thus far, and we're not even the half yet. Jump shot up and through. Actually not through by Dan Troutner. He just checked in the game. The first time he touched the ball, he put it up. Went off the back iron. Two minutes left to go until the half. A near steal by the Broncos. Irish get it back. And now high is Bobby Barnes with the ball. Holds it the hip. Creates off the dribble. Puts up a shot off the left hand. He can't finish it. Velius a rebound. Leaves it for London Young. Dylan Edrington along the baseline. And he is hounded by Joe Nevin. Tynan Davis puts up a wild shot, gets it to go off the finger roll, and the Broncos needed that. 
He's got five points in the second basket, and we are tied up at 16 apiece. Here's Connor Kelly off the glass and good. His second bucket, he now has five as he hit a three-pointer early in the game. Davis going coast-to-coast. Coast. Can't finish that time, though. And the tempo is picked up dramatically here with 1.13 left to go. Loose ball. Who's got it? Sacred Heart does. And they throw the ball away. Trailing by two points, the Broncos will get the ball back. 18-16, 105 left to go until the intermission. London Young working off the right-hand dribble. Directing traffic. Bounce pass out high. Villiers back to Young. What they want to try to do here is to get the ball in Edrington's hand, but now they throw the ball away down low off a lob. 45 on the game clock. A long three is missed by Barnes. Edrington with the rebound. Flips to Davis back to Edrington. A four-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Shot clock's at 23. Game clock's at 27. Now it's down to 20, the shot clock. The game clock at 24. Broncos will try to hold it for one shot here. London Young with the ball. Little dribble penetration. Not much there. And gets the ball back after an entry pass. Seven on the shot clock. Free throw line jumper on the way and good. A big shot by London Young. He's got six points. Five seconds, four seconds. Jason Hill puts it up from midcourt. It counts if it goes. Out of bounds with four tenths of a second left. The buzzer has not gone off. He shot it a little bit too soon. Actually had about two or three more seconds to work with, and I think he rushed it. Indeed he did. Broncos will inbound with four tenths of a second left. And we have come to the half with the score. 18 apiece. 18 for Sacred Heart. Northgate with 18. And we'll be back with our halftime show after this. And game of the week is made possible by a generous donation from Rocco's Ristorante Pizzeria in Walnut Creek. Located in the Encina Grande Shopping Center, Rocco's Ristorante Pizzeria has classic Italian pastas, gourmet pizzas, and a family atmosphere. Locally owned and operated by Rocco Bialli and family, Rocco's is a great place to go after the game. Rocco's Ristorante Pizzeria voted the best pizza in Contra Costa by the readers of the Contra Costa Times. When I was a kid, I dreamed of becoming the best. Of course, I do more than dream. I make plans for what's going to happen to me in the future. I actually got up and did something about becoming a champion. I went out and worked hard. I train very hard. I always have to get a new resolve to get better and new goals. There's a lot of constructive things that you can do. I don't have to mess around with the drugs because I know it's not good for me. And it's not good for anything that I do. Drugs kill dreams. It's just not worth it. But as always, you have the choice. You have to make the best one. My youth for understanding experience was the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. If you want to learn a language, this is how you do it. You have to live here and you have to breathe in the country. You need a whole new family that are willing to accept you and take you in. I feel like just like I'm a part of my family. Being involved with the family, living right at home, that has been my best learning experience so far.
filters for a cleaner future. For more information, call 1-800-NO-DUMPING or check out my website at www.funnelhead.com. Being a parent is a, is a joy. You have days of absolute bliss that you thought you could never, ever experience. And then there are days that are so low, you wonder why you ever became a parent. Matthew Shepard. You know, in, in a perfect world, because your child was gay, you don't worry about their safety. You just worry about them being happy. I loved Matt just the way he was. Just the way he was. Welcome back to our halftime show. I'm Reza Sadeghi. I'd like to welcome Rocco Bialy of Rocco's Restaurante Pizzeria, located in Walnut Creek. And, of course, Rocco is a major sponsor of the AT&T Broadband High School Games of the Week. Rocco, thank you very much for joining us, and thank you very much for being a part of the family with the AT&T Broadband High School Game of the Week. Well, thank you very much for letting me be a part of it. Um, it's always very refreshing to hear uh, customers and people in the shopping center say, hey, I saw the game on TV, and uh, thanks for sponsoring. And it's, it's, it's good to be a part of the local... Uh, Sports community. Right, tell us what, is, what it has meant to you and your family to be a part of the team, and uh, I'm sure you get a lot of satisfaction also from being a part of the uh, AT&T Broadband Game of the Week team. Oh, we sure do. It, it's, it's, not, it's, uh, it's not something that I can easily monitor uh, financially, but I, I, it makes it all worthwhile when I hear somebody say, hey, I, I saw you on TV, or I, I saw the game, thanks for sponsoring. And so it's, 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 it's the little things like that, the little pats on the back that make it all worthwhile uh, sponsoring the football and the basketball, and I'm just glad to be a part of it. And we have the Rocco team with us here as well tonight, don't we? I got my whole team. I got all three of my kids. I have my youngest uh, child here. Her name is uh, Nina, and she turned five on Saturday. Happy I birthday. Say happy birthday. Happy Thank you. birthday. There you go. This is my uh, oldest son, um, uh, Dante. And Dante, why don't you tell the crowd what your favorite pizza is? My favorite pizza is Dante's Inferno. He's, uh, he's eight years old. We have a pizza named after him called Dante's Inferno. And this is my um, middle uh, child. Uh, his name is Dominic. He's kind of shy. What's your favorite pizza, Dominic?
with the ball in the green. Going from right to left now in the second half. Out high with the ball is Joe Nevin. Flips it over Odayo O'Day, who now gets the ball back and they'll reset things up. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. I'm not too sure he knows. Three seconds, has the ball stripped in the backcourt. Two seconds, London Young with a hand on the ball. It's an air ball by Jason Hill. Broncos with a good defensive stand early on. Quickly giving you the leading scores in that first half. London Young, Dylan Edrington with six points. Tynan Davis with five and Mike Villiers with two to pace the Broncos. The Irish were led by Connor Kelly's five point, five point outburst. Jason Hill had four. Bobby Barnes and Mike Karuchit had three. Broncos with the ball for the first time in the second half. London Young with the basketball now. Poor year. Edrington in the corner. Nice ball movement by Northgate. Poor year down low. Muscles up. Can't get the go. It was blocked by the side of the backboard. On the run. Sacred Heart and a big time block off the shot from Odia Odai. And guess who? Tynan Davis with the big time swat. And that'll get the fans on their feet. 6.56 left to go, third quarter. Still 18-18. 18, 18, 18. And a steal in the backcourt. Here come the Broncos. Four on one, fast break. Young going up to the layup. He can't finish it. Poor year with the chip in. Broncos needed that. And they got it. The first two points for Rashawn Poirier. He tried to slam it in. And Davis with another near steal. Three-pointer up, three-pointer good by Joe Nevin. And that's the third three-pointer made tonight by the Sacred Heart Cathedral Fighting Irish. And that has kept in the game. 21-20, they lead. Billius down low. Nearly miss it, but got the roll. His first bucket, he's got four points. Back and forth now we go. 22-21, Broncos by one. At home with the lead. Irish come right back. And the pace in the second half is certainly different than the one in the first half. More offense for sure now. Davis with a hand in the face. Nice dish off down low. Jerry Ryan off the nice entry from Joe Nevin. Ryan's got four points. Steal. Almost. Broncos get it back. Young. Poor year. He nearly lost it. 20 on the shot clock. The Broncos will reset things here offensively. London Young uses the high screen. Trying to create. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Tynan Davis picks up his dribble. Young holding the ball high over his head. And a foul underneath whistled against the Irish. Looks to be Connor Kelly. Now they give it to Jason Hill. That is his first, first team foul in the second half. Broncos will inbound from baseline right. London Young gets the ball with a new shot clock. Broncos down by one now, 23-22. Davis steps in, nice entry pass down low. Villius, the beneficiary of a nice look from Tynan Davis. The Broncos with the lead, 24-23, and back and forth we go here. We approach the five-minute mark, the third quarter. The loser goes home, the winner advances. Foul whistles against poor year, and that's his third. So Dan Swan has to think about taking him out, taking him out. However, right now you'll keep him in. The big man for Northgate with three fouls. Free throw shooting situation for the Irish. The first one is missed by Ryan. They were two for four in the first half. Ryan will have one more. Second shot is up. Second shot is good. 24-24, full court pressure. Now they double team the ball and a steal in the backcourt by Nevin. They have numbers, she'll kick it out, put up a three, misses it, and it's run down the corner by Odio Odai. A new shot clock now. And that was a big sequence for the Irish in a tied up ball game, 24-24. Out high, Jerry Ryan. This is Joe Nevin. Nevin puts up a wild shot and draws a foul. Tynan Davis, the culprit, with the block. His second. Second team foul as well on the free throw line. 
is Joe Nevin. And thus far tonight, only 50% from the free throw line are the fighting Irish, three for six. First trip to the free throw line for Nevin. Up and through. Sacred Heart of the West Catholic Athletic League. The runners up. In the Central Coast section. Two point lead as both free throws were good. He now has five points, this Joe Nevin. Of course, the Northgate Broncos are North Coast section champions. Poor year, free throw line jumper. Pretty ugly. And he'll be called for a foul over the top. And if that's him, that'll be number four. Wow, a frustration foul. And Dan Swan just can't believe it. Off the bench, saying, what do you, kind of what are you thinking? Because he missed a shot and went up over the back to give his fourth foul. And the Broncos just cannot afford that. And he'll sit down now for sure. Batasco back in. Broncos down by two, and their big man on the bench with four fouls. 4.15 mark, the third quarter. Backdoor cut, nice defense, but they still get the ball to the man they want, and a shot missed by Jason Hill. Broncos with a rebound, and here comes Tynan Davis across the midcourt stripe. He'll slow things down. Broncos need a basket here to tie things up. Davis in the corner, Patoska bounce pass. Villas had it knocked out of bounds by Connor Kelly. Good defense as they race the basketball off the double team to the Sacred Heart Cathedral Fighting Irish. Inside four minutes, 358. Edrington, baseline, inbound. London Young. They're trying to get it into Edrington's hands, and he's been neutralized for the most part tonight. The leading scorer has been. Gets the ball back now. He only has two baskets and six points. Puts up a wild three. Misses badly. Tipped up and nearly in. And fighting for the rebound is Jerry Ryan amongst three Broncos, and now a jump ball, possession arrow to Northgate. A substitution for the Irish. Stefan Gartrell will check in. Sitting down will be Jerry Ryan. 26-24. Fighting Irish by two. Broncos with the ball. Down low, double team. They throw the ball away. Tim Batoska with a good idea, but he just put a little too much mustard on that basketball, and the Broncos could not get it. Another turnover for Northgate. This is Odia Odai. Flips it back to Jason Hill. Connor Kelly looking to create off the dribble. Has it blocked and altered. Rebound for the Broncos. Here comes Northgate on the run. Broncos trying to do something here. They need a basket desperately. London Young gets it right at midcourt. Edrington trying to create, drives a baseline. Gets a triple team, puts it up and draws a foul. Irish thought they had a clean block. Gartrell thought he had it, but apparently not. Foul is whistled against Connor Kelly, his first. Edrington's the free throw line where he's an excellent free throw shooter. Thus far tonight, two for two. Make that three for three. He now has seven points. Leads all scores. Coming off a big outburst, 26 points in the North Coast section finals against Marimani on Saturday. And he is now four for four shooting free throws. Broncos tie the game. And they force a turnover. So Northgate applying the heat, a little full court pressure. Dan Swan changing things up. And it pays off. Bobby Barnes back in. And sitting down will be Joe Nevin. And now they say it's going to be Sacred Hearts ball after all. So not a turnover. And this is Bobby Barnes working off the left-hand dribble. Outside left. Goes to Odai. Out high. Gartrell. Now it's Robert Alcardi who's checked in for the first time. Barnes with the basketball. Ten on the shot clock. And Connor Kelly way 
gives Barnes over to get the ball. Trying to create up the dribble. A near steal by Davis. Baseline jumper on the way. No good by Gartrell. The Broncos with the rebound. Opens three, and Edrington will not take it. He'll slow things down. Davis looking to create. Scoop layup. Missed badly, and it's batted out of bounds. Last touch by the Irish. It'll be Broncos ball out of bounds. Should be a new shot clock. Or is it? It is not. 20 on the shot clock, 2.05 on the game clock, 26-26 our score. It was tied at 18 after 2. Edrington drives baseline, pulls up the jumper, gets it to go. The Broncos needed that and they get it. 10 points for Edrington. Broncos up by 2 at home with the lead. Out high, open 3 on the way by Kelly. Can't get the go. Skying high for the rebound is Mike Villas. Northgate slows things down. Tynan Davis walks the ball up across the timeline. 135 left to go in the third quarter. 25 on the shot clock. The Northern California playoffs. Cathed Sacred Park Cathedral of San Francisco. And here comes another three on the corner. By Edrington, no good. Sacred Heart against Northgate of Walnut Creek. And a foul whistle down low. The third personal foul for Tynan Davis. So Davis with three. And the big man already did with four, Rashawn Poirier, he's on the bench. Broncos almost get a hand on the basketball. Irish with the ball, down by two on the road. We approach the 105 mark in the third period of play here. Bobby Barnes nearly walked. In fact, he did. The call by Brett Silvera, our umpire. Northgate will inbound the ball. And a substitution is marked. Karuchit, who had a wonderful half in the opening half, will replace Bobby Barnes. Barnes will sit down, and he gets a little lip service from Coach John Perez as well. Davis, a midcourt. A near steal and a reach-in foul against Robert Alcardi. That is his first. Alcardi did not play in the first half. However, played a bunch here in the third quarter. 55.6 seconds left to go. Broncos by two, 28-26. Having now scored the Irish 10-8 thus far in the third period. Dylan Edrington to inbound. From midcourt. In the backcourt it goes to London Young. Broncos need a basket here. Young puts it up. Can't quite get it to go. Put back up and nearly in, but not quite by Tim Batasca, he was fouled and he'll go to the free throw line for a couple shots. A big rebound that time by Batasca. The foul down low is whistled against Connor Kelly. And now they're going to say it's not a shooting foul? Let's wait and see. Northgate fans certainly don't like it. In fact, they're going to say it's not a shooting foul. So Northgate will get the ball. 47.9 seconds left to go. A 12-second differential here between the game clock and the shot clock. Edrington looking to create. Puts up a shot from the free throw line. Can't quite finish it. Kept alive. Last touch by Northgate. No. Sacred Heart. It'll be Northgate's ball out of bounds. Shot clock to 33. Game clock to 40. Therefore, a 7-second differential. And the Broncos with the ball from baseline right. Patoska to inbound to Young down low. Patoska, nice entry to Villas, gets the basket and the foul. Huge play for Northgate. And a great pass by Patoska to Villas. And Mike Villas with his eighth point. He'll go to the free throw line where he's a perfect two for two tonight. And Northgate looking to open things up. Have a four-point lead right now. If they get to five, that's going to be huge because this game has been back and forth the whole way. And he gets it to go. A three-point play. has got nine points. 33 seconds left to go. The shot clock is turned off. In fact, the shot clock and the game clock are exactly at 25 right about now. Broncos 31. Sacred Heart 26, a big outburst during the third quarter for the hometown Broncos. 15 seconds left to go in the third quarter. 
This is Odia Odai. Flips it over now to Jason Hill. Mike Karuchik trying to create off the dribble. Draws a foul. I believe it was not in the act of shooting, though. Let's wait and see. Or was it? Apparently it was now. Dylan Edrington, the culprit, picks up a foul that is his first. And Karuchik to the free throw line, just one out of two. Four of eight thus far, make it five for nine are the Irish. And he has his fourth point, and that's a big free throw. 31-27, the Bronco fans wanted a shooting foul the other end, did not get it. And this time on a questionable call, the officials give it to the Irish. Two big free throws, five seconds left, four seconds. London Young, three, two, puts up a wild shot, partially blocked, and we have come to the end of the third with our score, 31-28, Broncos by three at home in the Northern California playoffs. We'll be back with the fourth and deciding quarter after this. Tonight's AT&T Broadband Game of the Week is made possible by a generous donation from Rocco's Restaurante Pizzeria in Walnut Creek. Located in the Encina Grande Shopping Center, Rocco's Restaurante Pizzeria has classic Italian pastas, gourmet pizzas, and a family atmosphere. Locally owned and operated by Rocco Bialy and family, Rocco's is a great place to go after the game. Rocco's Restaurante Pizzeria voted the best pizza in Contra Costa by the readers of the Contra Costa Times. Reza Sadeghi back with you at Northgate High School in Walnut Creek. It's the Northern California playoffs between Sacred Heart of San Francisco and Northgate of Walnut Creek. The Fighting Irish 20 and 11 for the West Catholic Athletic League, the WCAL, and the Broncos, Northgate Broncos, the DFAL champions. Thanks in part to their 25-4 record and a 17-1 league mark. They opened up the year in League 1-1, one and one, then won 16 in a row. And they are the North Coast section champions, having beaten their rivals, the Miramonte Matadors, last Saturday night at Cal Shade Hayward. The Central Coast Division three section runners-up are the Sacred Heart Cathedral Fighting Irish, who lost to Reardon, but prior to that, they beat San Ignatius, thus earning a game earning an at-large bid and a game here in the Northern California playoffs. Down by three on the road in the green, Sacred Heart, the law pass down low, putting up a wild shot. Is Jerry Ryan, but a foul down low will be called against the Northgate Broncos. And it's on Mike Villius, his second. He does have nine points, though, in a big offensive game. And a wet floor right now. The officials taking care of business. Apparently no towel to be found. Broncos by three. Irish with the ball. Down by three. Karuchit. To Odio Odai. Kicks it out high to Jason Hill. Now it's Joe Nevin. Back to Karuchit. To Hill. 25 on the shot clock. Joe Nevin puts up a wild shot, tips it back up and in. Missed it, but came around the other end of the basket. Tipped it up with the left hand. Nicely done. He's got seven points now, and all seven in the second half. Edrington, three-pointer, sizes it up, puts it up. He can't get to go. London Young, the rebound, missed the gimme, but gets it back. Gets a triple team and a foul and a reach-in down low. It's going to be whistled against Jason Hill. That is his second. Wow, London Young missed from a foot out. I mean, you're not going to see that too often. But got it back and drew the foul. Now Northgate will inbound from baseline right. Down it goes. Patoska puts it up and in off a nice pass from Dylan Edrington. And for Patoska, that is his first basket here tonight. The Broncos by three, 33-30. Karuchit. Out high to Nevin, who's had the hot hand. Nevin now gets it back. Karuchit, back to Nevin. That's the guy you want with the basketball. Watched by the Broncos, number one defender, though. And a turnover. Irish throw the ball away. Broncos get it back. Northgate has the Irish right where they want them right now. Down by three at home. And they have the fans right behind them. Davis kicks it out. 
Villiers thought about the jumper, but didn't take it. Finger roll, up and through, no good. Last touch by Villiers. As it came in his hands, it was tipped off his hands by an uh, Irish defender. However, Villiers was the last one to touch it. Therefore, Sacred Heart gets it back. John Perez off the bench for the Irish, as is Dan Swan, the Broncos head coach. 6.25 left to go in the fourth quarter. 33-30, the Broncos by three. Dribble penetration, Nevin has a shot altered by Patasca with some excellent defense. And Sacred Heart has really had a tough time scoring as the Broncos have picked it up a notch defensively here in the second half. Six minutes left to go now in the fourth. London Young, bounce pass Edrington. That's who Northgate wants the ball in his hands because he is their leading scorer and he's had the hot hand of late. Finger roll layup up and through by Davis. How did he do it? Oh my goodness, he's missed some easy shots tonight, but that was the toughest shot he took and he made it. That was the toughest shot he's taken all night long and somehow got it to go. He'll go to the free throw line to make, try to make this a three point play. However, we'll have a timeout before he does. Unbelievable. Driving the left, left baseline, puts up a wild finger roll and it actually climbed the rim. It rolled over the front of the rim and it went in. Jason Hill picks up the foul, that is his third. Broncos by five, and there's a Northgate bench, and tonight's AT&T Broadband Game of the Week is being brought to you by Broncos Restaurante Pizzeria, the best pizza in Contra Costa County, located in Walnut Creek. And also like to thank the Northgate Boosters for their generous contribution tonight, making this game a reality. I'd like to also remind you that tonight's Sacred Heart Cathedral Northgate Broncos basketball game will be cable casted this Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. on AT&T Broadband Channel 6 in Wallen Creek, Channel 3 in Martinez, La Marinda, Danville, and Pleasant Hill, and on Channel 25 in Concord and Clayton. Watch AT&T Broadband Community Television for all of your local high school sports action. 5.52 left to go in the fourth quarter. Northgate with a five-point lead, and they can add to that here. As Tynan Davis, the free throw line, he'll try to make it a three-point play. He's one for two from the free throw line tonight. Shot is up, and shot is good. Broncos with their largest lead at six. Eight points for Davis. Defense. Down low, missed shot, kicked back out to Karuchit, and they'll set it up as now Joe Nevin has the ball. Jason Hill. Long three is up, long three off the back iron. Broncos should have it, and they do, but Tosca, a big game off the bench for Northgate, gets another rebound. Tynan Davis, and now Northgate, they'd love to use some clock here. 5.20 left to go, 25 in the shot clock. Tynan Davis nearly had the ball stolen, gets it back. London Young trying to create up the dribble. Edrington's wide open, but no one sees him. And now it's Batasco who puts up a wild shot, but draws a foul. Guess it wasn't that wild if he was fouled. And the culprit that time of the personal foul is Joe Nevin. That is his second. Batasca to the free throw line. His first trip tonight. And this place is very quiet until he makes it. Northgate's been solid from the free throw line, folks. 10 of 11 thus far, the Northgate Broncos. That is outstanding free throw shooting in a playoff basketball game. Make that 11 for 12. Batasca throws them both. Five minutes left to go, 38-30. The Broncos extend now to their largest lead. Previous, previously, it had been at eight. And the pressure now is on the Fighting Irish. On the road, down by eight. The Central Coast section runners-up are feeling the heat. While the North Coast section, the third seed Broncos, have Sacred Heart right where they want them. Driving baseline, putting up a finger roll layup and drawing the foul is Joe Nevin. Foul's 
going to be whistled against Tynan Davis. That is his fourth. So four fouls for Davis and four fouls for Poirier. And Poirier has been sitting on the bench for much of the half. Joe Nevin to the free throw line. A couple shots here. He's two for two. Make that three for three. He now has eight points as well. Second shot is up. Second, second shot is also good. Nine points overall. Substitution now is Rashawn Poirier back in the game with four fouls. First action here in the fourth. Mike Billius gets a well-deserved hand with nine points as he sits down. Billius just with two fouls, though. Tynan Davis runs the ball across the timeline. Double team in the corner. Dylan Edrington puts up a shot in the free throw line. Gets it to go. Nicely done. A dozen points for him. His fourth bucket here tonight. 40-32. Broncos back up by eight. Finger roll up and through. Odio Odai, his first bucket. Here comes Davis. Look how hard he dribbles the basketball. Poor year down low. Off the great pass by Davis. Had the presence of mind to pass the ball while he was dribbling it as fast as he could. And poor year, his second basket. 42-34. 3.50 left to go. Joe Nevin, a three-pointer three no good. Tipped up, kept alive, but London Young wrestles it away from three defenders. And a seal down low, put up and in by Jason Hill. So the triple team got to the Broncos that time. And Hill's got a half a dozen. 42-36. Wow, that was huge for the Irish. They needed that, and they got it. Three and a half to go. 42-36. The Broncos have led by as many as eight. Davis on the left baseline. Puts up a shot. No good. Missed it badly. And going out of bounds, landing out of bounds, was Mike Karuchit. In reality, that's almost like a turnover. He came down out of bounds. His heel was out. And Tim Benton, our umpire, right there on the spot. Edrington will inbound from the baseline. London Young to Davis. 3.12 left to go. 30 on the shot clock. In the fourth quarter, the Northern California playoffs. Poor year to Davis. Driving baseline. And a foul. No. Carrying. Palming. Traveling. Whatever you want to call it. Turnover, nevertheless. And that's a break for the Irish, who are still not out of this. Down by six at the three-minute mark. And this one's going to go down the wire, apparently. Joe Nevin. To Ryan. Jason Hill with the ball. They're looking for the backdoor cut. No one home, though. Joe Nevin out high. 15 the shot clock. 2.40 in the game clock. Long three by Nevin, and he forced it. However, they run it down. Kruchit gets it and gets it back now with a new shot clock. 2.25 left to go. 27 on the shot clock for the Fighting Irish. This is Joe Nevin looking to create off the dribble. Not a whole lot there. Karuchit has a strip by Edrington. Here come the Broncos. Three on two, and they'll slow it down up by six. Pretty good move. And they'll look to use some clock now. As we approach 2.05 left to go. Edrington drives baseline, puts it up, gets it to go. He's got 14 points now. 44-36. Broncos back up by eight. 154 left to go. Another seal. Edrington forces it. London Young comes away with it. Here come the Broncos. They'll slow things down again. A half-court trap. And Poirier's down low. Open. He gets it to go. Great look by London Young and Rashawn Poirier with half a dozen. And the fans are on their feet here at Northgate. Broncos with their largest lead. 46-36. 137 left to go. Sacred Heart calls and gets the timeout, and they're in big-time trouble now. And tonight's AT&T Broadband Game of the Week being brought to you by Rocco's Restaurante Pizzeria. For Contra Costa County's finest pizza, 
just called Rocco's. I also like to thank the Northgate Boosters for helping us out with tonight's broadcast. And what a good one it's been. Northgate of Warren Creek against Sacred Heart of San Francisco. The Broncos entered this game 25 and 4. The North Coast section champions, and they look like champions thus far tonight with a 10 point lead against Sacred Heart. The Central Coast section runner up runner ups who are 20 and 11 of the WCAL, the West Catholic Athletic League of San Francisco. What was a 31-28 Bronco lead at the end of three has now turned into a 46-36 Bronco runaway. 1.30 left to go. Irish with the ball. They need some points, and they need some points in a hurry here. Odia Odai. Gary Ryan. This is Bobby Barnes. Barnes looking to create high off the glass. Gets it to go. Very nice. And that is his second bucket. Had an early three in this ball game, but it's been shut out. And a timeout now quickly called as they're going to try to set up the full court trap. The full court pressure will be coming now. 46-38, 117 left on the fourth quarter clock. The Broncos enter this game, the 12th ranked team in the San Francisco Chronicle Top 25 poll, while Sacred Heart was number 14. The winner tonight advances to the semifinals, the NorCals, against the winner of Reardon and Miramani. Miramani did lose against Northgate, but like Sacred Heart, they had an at-large bid, so they're in the city tonight. And tell us what you think about our broadcast. We'd love to know what you think about our season thus far in basketball as well as football. We had a banner year in football as well, and now bringing you playoff basketball. The number to call, 925-933-6264, and that's 933-6264 in the 925 area code. So if Marimani beats Reardon in the city, we have a game here in the second round. If Reardon holds on to the win against Marimani in San Francisco, then Northgate, or the winner of this game, will play in San Francisco in round number two. Rashawn Fourier to inbound. Full court pressure shown. Broncos have to inbound, and they foul quickly. Dylan Edrington is fouled by Bobby Barnes. Barnes is second personal, and Edrington is not the guy you want to foul. Because therefore, thus far tonight, he's four for four. Broncos are 13 of 14 from the free throw line. And earlier tonight I said the free throws won ball games, and certainly that has been the difference. Because Sacred Heart, on the other hand, has just shot 50%. Edrington's free throw up and through. Well, this guy's money at the free throw line. He was 12 of 13 shooting free throws against Miramani on Saturday. It's a big win at Cal State Hayward. Second free throw also good. He now has 16 points, by far leads all scores. 113 left to go. They threw the ball away in the backcourt with no pressure. And that's kind of the second half that typifies the kind of second half they've had. The Fighting Irish at 20 and 11 in danger of seeing their season come to an end at 20 and 12. Broncos have a tough time inbounding. Therefore, they'll call for a timeout and they'll get it. So the DFAL champion, the Northgate Broncos, on their way to round number two. 25 and 4 overall. They'll be 26 and 4 after tonight. They finished off league play 17 and 1 after winning 16 straight games to end league play. And what a year! Last year the Broncos just 18 and 8, 12 and 6 as a member of the BVAL. This year they move over to the DFAL, and thus far are 25 and 4. So another banner year for Dan Swan now in his fifth season. And of course Northgate with the big North Coast section win last Saturday. It was their first section championship since the 1996 Northgate team that won the state championship under the guidance of point guard Frank Alaco Jr. and his father, the head coach, Frank Alaco, who's now at the head coach at De La Salle, the number one ranked team in the Bay Area. Broncos turn the ball over. Or do they? I think it's going to be a foul called. It's going to be a foul called against... Dylan Edrington. Wow, he was going for the ball. That could have gone either way. The fans don't like it. And Odia Odai to the free throw line. No, make that. Yes, it is Odia Odai to the free throw line. His first trip tonight. Two shots upcoming here. Call made.
made by Jimmy Givens, our referee. As they wipe off a wet spot on the basketball floor and now back to action. Who dies for his free throw up and through. He now has three points. He has four points, makes two of two, 48-40, eight-point Bronco lead. Northgate wants a timeout, and they'll get it. 1-12 left to go, eight-point lead. So it's going to come down to free throws for the Broncos. And that's going to de decide this basketball game. Fifteen for sixteen, the Broncos from the free throw line thus far. And would you like your business to join the AT&T Broadband Game of the Week team? Certainly. Give us a call nine two five nine three three six two six four. As once again next year we'll be bringing you the East Bay High School Game of the Week as well as the basketball game of the week as well. And every now and then in the basketball season we'll even even give you bonus coverage of two games in one week. 48-40, Northgate with the lead at home. One minute, 12 seconds left to go. The Bronco fans have really loved what they've seen thus far in the second half. Northgate led at the end of one period, 11-8. They were outscored 10-7 in the second. Therefore, it was an 18-18 tie at the half. But the Broncos opened things up, got up by as many as five in the third quarter, led 31-28 at the end of three. And now lead by 8, 48-40, and they led by as many as 10. Foul in the backcourt. Tynan Davis will go to the free throw line. And wait, was it a timeout again? I believe it was another timeout. With 1.12 left to go. So the last few minutes of this basketball game will take a long time as Sacred Heart with their season on the line, they're not going to go down very easily. Other games tonight in the Division Three Northern California playoffs. Number one, McAteer playing at Keysar Stadium against Sierra. River Bank at number four, Enterprise. The Broncos, the number one seed, make that in the number three seed, are the Broncos, are obviously playing host of Sacred Heart. And Marimani, the at-large team, is at number two, Reardon. And that's who Northgate, or the winner of this game, will face, the winner of Marimani and Reardon. If Miramani can pull the upset at Reardon, then we'll be back here for another basketball game between the two D DFAL foes. And it goes. Davis tackled nearly by Odia Odai. He did not like it. They go to the free throw line. They'll have a couple shots here. Only a second or two went off the clock. The Broncos, 15 of 16 from the free throw line. And the only man to miss from the free throw line has been Tynan Davis. He is two for three. He'll bounce the ball three or four times, bends his knees, puts it up, puts it through. He's three for four now, nine points. The Bronco lead back up to nine. Second shot on the way, second shot is good. He was perfect. He is now in double figures. Only the second Bronco in double figures. Tynan Davis with 10. Dylan Edrington with 16. Rebound comes to the Broncos. London Young fouled in the backcourt. And if you're Northgate, you can start the celebration now with 102 left to go and a 10-point lead and more free throws upcoming. London Young, six points for him, coming off a 15-point performance against Miramani. But all six points tonight came in the first half. If he scores here, it'll be his first point of the second half. Knuckle ball is up and no good. Broncos now 17 for 19, shooting free throws. Second shot is good. 17 for 20, not too bad, especially in a playoff situation. 
seven points for Young. Shot goes in and out. London Young the rebound. 53 seconds left to go. Edrington across the timeline, nearly lost it. Looking to foul are the Irish. They can't though. Davis kicks it back out to Young. Good ball movement. And Edrington now fouled with 38.7 seconds left to go. And the Broncos start the celebration, and the fans like what they see as well. Dylan Edrington, the free throw line. Perfect six for six tonight. He's got 17 points now. Second shot is up. Second shot is good. Broncos now 19 of 21 shooting free throws.